Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am looking forward to going over my Shop My Stash that I have used all through October and into November, letting go of some things and letting you know what is coming back into the rotation. So if that sounds interesting, just keep watching. I owe you a big declutter. I owe myself a big declutter. I have too much makeup. Some of it is getting old. Some of it I don't want to reach for, so it needs to go. This is a little bit of a baby declutter, a way of using the makeup that I've got, and hopefully I can encourage you to use the makeup that you've got, and if it's time to let it go, let it go. And maybe you'll get lucky and you'll fall back in love. So I'm gonna go through the items that I chose. September 30th was when that video went up, and I have made a very good effort of using these items. The eyeshadow that I chose had no danger of going anywhere. I just wanted to show it some love, and that is the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace. It was a collaboration with my beloved Mel Thompson, and this has been a joy. Putting looks together with this palette. Today, I used a lot of the Death Moth, Tree Hopper, those are like sort of what's in my crease. I put a little spider on the outside edge, and in the inner corner I have Fire Butts, and on the lid I have Scarab. I'm proud of myself. I think I'm starting to enjoy duochromes a little bit better. I just need to learn how to put them on my eye. Maybe it's just in the inner corner that I don't like them. So when I did the fire butts, I left this part open, put on the scarab, and I am very pleased with the eye look. But I've made some beautiful purples and greens, and it's just a lovely arrangement of colors, and Sydney Grace's formula is one of the best. This is a gorgeous palette. I believe it is still available. I will have everything listed and linked in the description box below like I always do, including what is on my face that might not be in front of me here. But most of what I'm wearing is in front of me. For primer, I had grabbed the Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Jam Primer. And while I enjoy this primer, it is very interesting because it is like a jelly on the inside. Here's my first issue. I hate getting it out of the package. I lose the little Scooby thing all the time, so I have to put something in it. And then when it comes out, I have had it fall off of my face. And it is, I think, a $34 primer. So what's cool is that when you rub it in, it looks all thick and gross, but it really melts into the skin like a gel. It feels very cooling. So it's got its pluses and its minuses, but my biggest issue is that it's just not mattifying, and I would prefer a mattifying primer. I am gonna hang on to it and try to get through it. I made a nice big dent this past six weeks. I think I am more than halfway through it, if you can see that. I'm gonna get through it, but it's not something I would repurchase. If you have normal skin and you like a smoothing, cooling primer, I would go for it. I'll next move on to base. I chose two different foundations. I have this one, the Kiko Milano Nothing Matter Foundation. This one was getting low. It was just in the okay category and I enjoyed wearing it, but I'm ready to let it go. It's just a little too heavy, a little thicker than I would like. My preferred foundation is natural to matte and is very thin with a solid medium to full coverage. Not always easy to find, but I do have a couple that are like that. This one, I just don't love it anymore. So it's gonna go and I feel like I've gotten a good use out of it. The other one that I chose was the Essence Keep Me Covered Foundation. This one, I heard through the grapevine that it was hard to find a shade match and I agree. The shade match that I have, this is Warm Shell. And it looks very, very yellow. This one is nice and thin but there's something about this foundation that lays a bit heavy on my skin. So while I will be decluttering this because I just didn't want to reach for it, I wanted to give you a little tip. If money is tight, you purchase this foundation, you can't return it and you wanna get your use out of it, how I found that I was able to wear it and like the way my skin looked a little bit more was if I mixed it 
with something else. My favorite combo was mixing it with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Today, I put a couple stripes of the Halo Glow, just one pull of the pump, one pull of the wand, I should say, and then I did one pump of the Essence Keep Me Covered and just dotted them each around. I do find that I have to use a brush. My Stands Out sponge is not doesn't move the product enough, so I use a brush to blend it all in, and I find that the glow that this gives really helps this foundation. I'm still gonna let this go because there are other foundations that I like more and you know Essence is probably my number one drugstore brand but I'm just having a hard time finding a foundation that I love of theirs. So this is gonna go. Of course this was just my helper. Love this e.l.f. Halo Glow even as an oily girl. I do get oilier throughout the day but for that first six to eight hours which I think I get about that before I can't stand the oils the skin looks beautiful. Like I think my skin looks quite radiant today. I didn't bring it in here, but I do remember that I had picked out my Merit concealer. I will pop up a picture. That I was sure that I was going to declutter and I'm not going to declutter it. I have found that it is not as much coverage as I would like, but it's so smooth under the eyes. It really is a lovely concealer. So if you are a person that doesn't need a lot of coverage, but you just need a little, and it may even potentially fill in fine lines. Like I really think that my under eyes look smooth when I wear this. I just need a little bit more coverage. I'm gonna hang on to it because I have used concealers that I didn't like that look dry under my eye before I've even set them. And I've taken that Merit and it's sort of fixed it. I've got a couple fixing products today. So the Merit concealer is staying. The other concealer, I'm not even sure if I put this in my last shot, my stash, but I just ended up grabbing it because I was using the Essence Foundation so much. I'm oh, just a matchy matchy girl. I tend to go all one brand when I'm working. This Keep Me Covered Concealer, I don't love it. I really don't and I have too many concealers so I'm gonna let this one go. I do have it on today and I do not think it looks bad. I just have other concealers that I would reach for over this one. I did pick out a cream bronzer for my Shop My Stash. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in oaks on you and I just wasn't sure about the tone of it and I do like it so I'm gonna hang on to it but I do find that the Where's Walnut is a little more favored by me but if you are a lighter skin tone this is a nice neutral bronzer I don't think it's too warm or too cool. Boy, I am a mess today my mother is still in the hospital at home I'm sitting here in a boot I have a nurse's aide coming in a few minutes, so I'm sorry if I, if I seem a little bit scattered. I'm doing my best. I just realized that one of the cream blushes I left in my bedroom, also in my Shop My Stash, was the Shop Miss A, I think it's AOA, the Demure Cream Blush. I'll pop up a picture right here. It's not going anywhere. It was a great blush. I consider that the cream blush alternative to my Essence The Blush, that I will pop up a picture over there great neutral, not too pink, not too orange, nice cream blush. I like them. It's one of my favorite things from Shop Miss A. I have two different shades of that cream blush now. The other cream blush that I grabbed was my J Cat Beauty. This is the Blush Mallow blush. I have three different shades of this cream blush. This is the Dolly Peachy. This is what I have on today. I really like this. This reminds me a little bit of the Danessa Myricks. This I would call an alternative to the Danessa Myricks cream blush, which I adore. The only difference is the Danessa Myricks is super, super pigmented. It's probably twice as pigmented as this one. So I just rubbed in here and here is the Dolly Peachy, but it is nice because it's a cream blush. It's easy to blend and then it very quickly turns into like a powder formula and the lasting power is great. That is what I have on today and that is the only thing I have on. I still think this formula is fabulous. I love this. I think this is an underrated cream blush. I have three different shades. I highly recommend it. It's one of the only cream blushes that I can wear without setting with a powder blush. So it's staying. The next category is powder bronzer and this one had no danger of going. I discovered this when I was looking for an alternative to my Flower Beauty, which I think is back. So I, it is back in my drawer. I am using it and want to use it in more videos, but I tried this as an alternative and fell in love. It is really nice. It is a baked bronzer. 
I made a nice dent in it. I prefer using it to set a cream bronzer because it is a little on the soft side, but if you're looking for a soft radiant bronzer, this is it. But if you're looking to set a stronger bronzer look, then I would use a cream bronzer and set it with this. It's very, because it's a baked formula, it's very smooth and light. And because it's Ulta brand, it is a nice price and the packaging is quite sturdy. I like it a lot. In the powder category, I grabbed this Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. This had survived a Shop My Stash before, and I'm sad to say that this time it will not be surviving. I used it to set under my eyes, and it's okay, but I have so many other powders that I would prefer to use over this. If you have normal skin, you could use this to set your face, I don't think it does much for me because of my oily skin. It is smoothing a little. It's just not enough. I liked it when I first got it and I've just found things that I like more since. So this one, I think because of age, just needs to be thrown out. The other powder that I chose was from my Relove video. The Relove brand at Walmart, if you've not checked it out, make sure I will, I will post that video but I also would love for you to check out that brand at Walmart. It is inexpensive and there are some gems. I picked out this super matte powder. It's got pink clay and niacinamide. It's a super matte powder. This is what it looks like. I mean, look at the dent that I put in there. I really enjoyed reaching for this. It feels smooth. It is a nice texture. I believe it does come in different shades. I really enjoyed using this powder. It's gonna stay, I'm gonna go through it, and the next time I need a pressed powder, because I still have a ton of powders, I would repurchase this, and it's less than $5. And the last two things that I grabbed for my Shop My Stash were these two items from Noreen Beauty. They were a company that reached out to me and said, hey, can we send you some items? We'd love for you to test them. They were all lip products, and I really enjoyed them. I wasn't reaching much for this lip color because it's just a little, oops, somebody's at the door. It's just a little peachier than I tend to go for, but it's a decent matte lipstick. The lip liner, same sort of thing. It's very peachy. And I found that I was drawn more to the lip liner than the lipstick because the lip liner is a little more versatile. I can put it with more brown lips. Today, I just have the lip liner all over my lips and then I threw a gloss on top so I'm going to let the lipstick go and I'm gonna keep the lip liner not the longest lasting but it's still a nice creamy lip liner that I can go all across my lips and it lasts a good amount of time so now I'm going to jump into the footage that I took in my bedroom I did pick a few things and I'll see you in a moment for primers I think I have a big primer declutter coming because I'm looking at this She Glam and I don't believe it mattifies the way I want it to. For concealer, I've done my concealer video and shown you my favorites, but I do really like this MAC one. I'm going to pull this one out and then highlight. I still owe you a highlight declutter, don't I? Hmm. I'm going to make an attempt. I'm gonna grab this e.l.f. Halo Glow for cream contour. There is no danger of this going anywhere, but I would like to put a dent in it because I really think that I might enjoy the lighter shade even more. This is Harmony for foundations. This NARS Soft Matte, it drives me crazy because it leaks as well. I'm gonna use this and powders. I'm gonna pull this Pat McGrath out because it is, what's going on here? Hope it's not broken. Not broken, but I want to test it out against the powders that I am loving, like specifically the Givenchy one. So there's a good one for under the eyes. And then I feel like I have not given this Dominique one enough of a chance. So I'm going to make this one a top shelf and see how that one does. Here is my blush drawer, and for some reason, I am not reaching for my cream blushes as much as normal. I'm guessing just because my house is upside down, I'm having to do my makeup really quick, and I, I guess I'm a powder girl at heart. So I'm gonna grab this one from Moira. This one did not work out so well for me because it's so deep, but I'm gonna try it. 
and make sure if I can't use it, then it needs to go away. Soft berry. Now I need more of a peach. You know, I am discovering I do not have a lot of peach powder blushes. I just got that new one from Essence. This Juvia's Place has some peach in it. This one from e.l.f. that I can't ever stay out of has peach in it, but that's one of my favorites. And then I know I have the Milani. Here it is, Luminoso. That's a peachy one that I go for a lot. I need more peach blushes. I'm gonna skip that because I just got soft peach from Essence. Pretty peach. Yeah, I'm just gonna give this some love. I don't have an excess of powder bronzers. I'm gonna grab this one from Milani. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a goal to do an eyeliner declutter and a highlight declutter because there's entirely too much. Same with the lipsticks. For eyeshadow palettes, I am looking and one that I know I'm gonna grab is this ColourPop and Rudolph. Look at the colors in there. You can go wild, you can go neutral. I remember liking this. Then I have this drawer, this drawer, and this drawer. I really like this Morphe one. I'm back. I have some goodies picked out that I will make a decision in December. Are they staying? Are they going? Make sure that you're subscribed so you can see what happens. Let me know. I know in that video I said that I owe you a lipstick to clutter and an eyeliner to clutter. I can't remember the other one that I said. I have excess of a couple things. Let me know. Would you like to see a video with those things? Would you think that would be better in a short? Let me know what you think. I hope that this was enjoyable for you. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe before you leave. Give the video a thumbs up and of course leave me a comment. I love chatting with you in the comment section. Thank you for the well wishes about my surgery. I am doing well. It still hurts. I'm still in the boot, but it's not so bad. Send well wishes to my mama. She's still in the hospital, struggling with a few different health issues, and she could use all the positive thoughts. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.